Kayla Stokes, Matty McGee, front line. Green one again. And once again, I would think that Matty got a bit of a head start over Kayla, but let's see what happens as Daniel Henshaw gets punted out towards the fence and is left out there. High and dry at the back of the pack as Brett Baxter gets his way through into position number two and sets sail after Matty McGee. Neil Kaldoulis now bouncing down through the infield and getting up on the inside of uh, Kayla Stokes as onto the grass comes Brett Baxter as well as Daniel Henshaw. So, Matty McGee, clear leader at the moment from Kayla Stokes who can't get back down low on the racetrack. One coming from the back of the pack is Joel Berkeley in the nine car. Also in there is uh, Steve Downs. And they're three wide now behind Kayla Stokes looking for a way either side. Joel Berkeley's the one that gets the, uh, the better of the move down low on the track. Car 29, Stephen Downs trying to go with him on the outside of all of those. It's Brody Fraser trying to muscle his way through. And Paddy Brennan in for a bit of the action as well as they put another one down. But they're all chasing Brody McGee. And right now, comfortable lead for the uh, 38 car. Neil Kaldoulis coming under some pressure from Joel Berkeley. You've got to remember Joel's come from the tail of the field and has muscled his way through into position number two with a good drive in the nine car. Paddy Brennan is the next one in position number four and then back we go to Brody Fraser with uh, Steve Downs now locked in battle with Chris Evans and tailed out at the moment is Kayla Stokes. Joel Berkeley running down the race leader and then drives straight up on the inside. So uh, side by side down past the pit gate and into the western corner with Matty McGee trying to shut the door. Berkeley won't allow any of that. Muscles his way through into the race lead. Joel Berkeley started stone motherless in this event and has got himself to the front of the field. Matty McGee now has got a hands full with Paddy Brennan on the move. Neil Kaldoulis back there in position number four has got uh, Brody Fraser interested in something better. A bit of smoke coming from the rear of the Matty McGee car as uh, we've got again Steve Downs spinning car number 29 around and turns it back to uh, be very close to the racetrack and the steward is not going to stop it as they take the... Yes he is. Joel Berkeley. There it is displayed. Joel Berkeley. Matty McGee. Paddy Brennan back then to Neil Kaldoulis who was uh, bogging down a little bit in turn number two and on the outside of him was Brody Fraser. But no doubt about our race leader already putting distance between himself and the pursuing uh, Matty McGee who's been passed down on the inside by Paddy Brennan. So Paddy Brennan set sail after Joel Berkeley around the western corner. They go, Paddy's overdone it and around he goes all by himself. And he will be absolutely livid with that. Thrown away position number two with a lap to go. In fact, uh, I give up, we're stopping again. Joel Berkeley, Matty McGee, take the green one off and running. Joel Berkeley down low on the racetrack trying to put a bit of distance between himself and the cars chasing him and that's Matty McGee. Back then to Neil Kaldoulis in position three and Brody Fraser would be the next one. Down to the control tower where the white flag waits this time. For Joel Berkeley, Matty McGee. Next one in line is Neil Kaldoulis who's in a uh, big battle here with Brody Fraser who goes to the outside and might get the drive up there on the western corner but Joel Berkeley takes it out from Matty McGee back in position number three was indeed Brody Fraser and then Neil Kaldoulis. Wow. Productions, here we go. Damien, that's only the first one. Let's try again.